Hey everyone, it's me Hayden from Hayden Kids YouTube. And today, um, we're gonna do a review on three particular plushies that were released in around 2004, 2005, around that range. Two extremely rare, actually, plush. And yeah, and the plushie we're gonna review today is Goofy Goober SpongeBob plush. Very, very rare condition. It's really good. This is tags a little worn. Uh, I just got it that way at on some like I don't know some like website, and you had to buy from Spain. I don't know. It took like nine months to get, but it was worth it. And then I have Goofy Goober Patrick too. It's really hard to find him and SpongeBob. This tag's perfect. See, they have the same exact tag. I don't know if you can see, but they have the same exact tag. And then there's one more to this set. There's, I mean, they make other ones. But the one from the Spoonbill movie set. And that's Mindy. Princess Mindy. It's the Princess Mindy plush. Pretty cool. If you watch, if you watch the first movie, then you'll know who Mindy is, which a lot of you guys probably watched the first Spongebob movie. And yeah, she has the same exact tag as Spongebob. And then, yeah, you could put these all as a set. And we are going to review every single one of them. So I guess let's get straight to Spongebob. Okay, here he is. Um, Pretty cool. Um, He has a Goofy Goober hat. I don't know, some strings are coming out of it, but that's how it came. I don't know, that's like, that's a pretty low quality Goofy Goober hat. It doesn't stay up. It just, I don't know, just flops over a lot in the back. And it's actually spongy material. I don't know how to explain it, but on the inside, he has like some square thing. It's not stuffing. It's like, I don't know, it's square. Mm. I think it might be a sponge. It feels like it, so... Yeah, it's pretty cool. The first one real plush it has like a sponge in it in 2004. I don't know, it has these lines in it. And this tie is pretty cool too. I think it feels really good quality. This, here's this tag, it's all worn. Here, I'll open it. And it says, um, 2000, 2005, I could barely read that because it's all scratched. But, I don't know, because I seen on Worth Point it's a website where you could go look at old stuff. I've seen this plush without a nose, so I don't know. They made two different versions, but I like the one with the nose. Because it's not really SpongeBob without his nose. Like, literally, you can't have a SpongeBob plush without his nose. Like, I don't know, here's an example. I don't know. Every SpongeBob plush I have probably has a nose. And whatever, him too. If you want to go see the review on him, then go to my other video, I guess. And yeah, it's pretty cool. Plushy has yellow arms. I don't know. I guess that's my review on it. So I guess let's do Patrick. This so time I'm gonna use the lighting because it's more better. But yeah, here's the details. Here's the Goofy Goober hat. It's pretty cool. And then here's the back. All these dots. I don't know. He here here's like an example. I don't know. Like. I don't know, he's really, really worn. I got him at the thrift store. So, yeah, he has dots. And, yeah, they're pretty cool dots, I don't know. But then it's like stitched right here where that's where he put the stuffing in probably. Here's his pants, the rest of it's like, I don't know. I don't know. It's kinda squishy. I don't know. This the material domain, I don't know. It feels weird. But whatever. And then we have a little billy button right there. Here. Here, let me zoom in. Yeah, there's his belly button. Ew. And then, here's his face. Here's a little bit more detail of his eyes. His eyes are pretty cool. A lot of sitch in his mouth. Here's a closer up of the Goofy Goober hat, too. Oh, yeah. It comes down a little bit. Not all the way, but whatever. It's like plush. 
I don't know. Even for holds the peanut up. And here's the peanut. I don't know, it's very close up. But here's a close up of the whole plush. Right, and here's his feet. But yeah. Pretty nice plush. So I guess let's move on to Mindy. So here's Mindy. Um I don't know why, but I paid the hundred dollars for her and she's not even the good as conditioned. Her hands have like I can't even explain. I don't know. It's very like I don't know if this is nail polish or something. Uh the person who had it before me really had bad quality and didn't treat it good. Here, right, I'll just zoom in to show you. See, look, it's like like nail polish. You gotta say it's fine. But I'm thinking I'm trying to put it like a little spot of nail polish remover right here and see if it works. I don't, I don't want to stain the plush, but whatever. And then here's her shirt. It has a heart on there. And these like little puffs on both of them. And then here's her shirt. It's removable too. And then, and she has a belly button right there, which that has like nail polish on it too. Right. I don't know if you can see, but like a little bit. It's kind of stupid of the person who had it before me, but whatever. And then the person tried to put lipstick on, like what the heck? Trying to do person, but if you look from a far distance, it looks fine. But still, if you zoom in, it looks really bad quality. If it her eyes too, but. I don't know. I mean, that's the condition I got it in, and I, I gonna try and wash it, but I'm afraid if I try and wash it, it'll get ruined. Well, it won't get ruined, but I don't know. I don't know if it'll be the same. Uh, I don't know. I think I'm just gonna take some like wipe or something. Not wipe, but like a little wet rag and try and get that off because I don't know. It just looks so used. <laughs> Okay, so here's the tail, I guess. With all these, like, little fins or whatever. And here's our big fin. This is not a fin. I don't know what you would call that, but whatever. Here's a fin. This is really bad quality, too. Not quality, but used. And then, I don't know, there's more of that. And then here's our tag, I guess. 2004... Paramount and Viacom International Inc. All rights reserved, created by Stephen Helmberg. Yeah, there's nothing really to this. I bet it probably shows how to wash it. I don't know. I'm not positive, but I guess here's the whole set. Here's Mindy, Patrick, and SpongeBob. And and this is the I'm lining up how I guess got them. I don't know. I got this one like last year. I got this one sometime last year too. Actually, I got this two years ago. I got him a year ago. And I got her like, I don't know, a few months ago. Yeah. I'm there. So here's the whole set. Um. You could probably just look it up online to search Goofy Goober Spongebob plush. Then scroll a little bit for photos and you'll see these two. But, I mean, I I think, I don't think that's the whole set. I mean, without Mindy, it just, I don't know, it doesn't look the same to me. Because all of them have the same exact Spongebob tags. And it's very hard to find these anywhere. None of these have Sola Makari. Only maybe like five of maybe has sold on eBay, maybe two of him, and one of him has sold on eBay. So I don't know if they ever come across for sale. I'm gonna buy another one just for fun. And if another one of these comes up for sale, I'm gonna buy another one of that too. But whatever. Um, yeah, I'm gonna do my reviews pretty soon. The next review is probably gonna be of my Mermaid Man. Um. That that video should be out tonight around there. So I guess I'll see you there in that review. Bye.